old are you, Raphael? Um, 12. Do you understand why you've been arrested? Yeah, I do. Right. That an incident occurred on early Wednesday morning in which one person was murdered. Four persons were known to be at the scene at the time. One of which has been named as the detained person. Therefore, the detained person has arrived at this police station this night and has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Do you understand that? Yes. So, based on that information, I'm going to authorise your detention here to secure and preserve evidence by means of questioning. An appropriate adult is en route to custody now to support you. OK? Yes. Yeah, but over nine friggin' hours in an adult cell, it's unlawful. Well, where else did we put him? But did anyone try and liaise with the local authority at all? They came in at night time. How inconvenient for the nine to five. The law then stipulates each station have a child-friendly cell. He's being detained for murder, not truancy. He's still a child, but... Oh, it's a Victorian building, Pete. Yeah, Victorian's fucking right. Kept you so long anyway. Some brainiac upstairs, but both brothers in with the same firm. Well now, I'm Pete, your solicitor, which means I'm going to guide you through this. Now, I know I'm a bit dodgy looking like, but, um, may I? I bet you prefer being called Ray. Huh? Uh, I'll let you in a little something. My full name. Petrotius. <laughs> Not my life. Literally. You eaten? Ah, well, let's see what we can. Ta da! <laughs> Not quite a rabbit, I know, but, um, mm. go on. More for you too. I'm in private consultation with my client. Okay. I'll uh, I'll see you shortly, if I fail. Yep. Appropriate adult. Can't trust him. Bound by law. So, like something you said at a yard could be used against you in court. Say nothing. Except to me. Okay? Now, we're going to need to prepare a statement so that an interview, all you need to say to their questions. There's no comment. OK? Right. I'm not interested. Uh, good afternoon yourself. Now, Kerry, I have something that I think... Look, that... I still haven't been paid for that last fucking legal aid fiasco. Murder. Yeah, it might well come to it, Pete. <laughs> A child. Murdered? No. Murderer. Needs a barrister. Ah. Uh, got you, haven't I? 
Go on. Well, you think the boy had fallen off a cloud? Well, the murder itself is as brutal, Kerry, seriously, as I've ever seen. Look, I have to go back in now, but, um... I'll call you later, OK? Dad's drinking and temper impossible to live with anymore. So on the 15th of June last year, you packed some bags off to school and left. To go and stay with your mum and older brother. Is that right? Hi. Hey. Hey. What's... I can't stay with that anymore. Who's out this time? Don't worry about him. OK. Hello, Ray. Hey, Mum. Do you like to visit Ray? Yeah. Um. Yeah, he was, um, he's going to stay. That's OK, Scott. Well, for tonight? Yeah. So far, OK? No, for, um, for a bit longer, maybe. I've got a room, Ray. Sorry, mate. Look, stay, stay tonight, but then back to your dad's tomorrow, yeah? You can't go back there. Mum. Oh, 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 oh. What are you calling her for? It's her... It's her house. It's her house. Freaking councils. In my name. Yeah. Like mine on all the bills. You can barely afford to feed our own already, let alone that waste of fucking space. Don't call my brother that. No, it's our mum's house, yeah? And Ray's got nowhere else, so. Piss off back to your dad's with him! I'm not leaving you here alone with mum. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Nathan didn't say anything. Why don't you leave me alone with your mother? You know I'm going to leave you alone with her. Because I've seen you tell her where you're lying. You're lying! What the fuck are you going to fucking kill you? You fucking weak dog!
gas on it for me. Glad to see you on the end, huh? Right back at you, darling. You been all right? Yeah. Keeping on, you know. Mm. Now, I'm going to briefly introduce you to Miss Stevens, who's going to be a defence barrister, mm -hmm. along with the rest of your team, all right? Now, today is not really about your case as such. It's just about... Hello. Kerry, how are you? Hello, Pete. This is Ray. Hello, Ray. I'm Kerry. I will be your defence throughout. If you don't like me, don't trust me, Pete will find you someone else. Good. Now, this is Gary from the Youth Offending Team. Right, Matt? He is responsible for overseeing your case up until sentence. And this... Grace. ...from Children's Services. Right, guys, let's crack on. Ray? She's a wee bit full on. But she'll fight to her shadow for you. Now, we need to prepare for your preliminary hearing. The police are looking to up Scott's charges so he could be in custody for a while. It's just you with the kids for the time being. We know you've had some bonding issues there in the past. Please don't take another baby. Now, Veronica, that was a long time ago and you've been doing really well with things since, all right? We just want to make sure you're coping now that Scott isn't here to help with looking after the little ones. That is all the assessment is about. Are you at work? I'm going in later. He's not getting bail, you know? Yeah, I know. Trying to replace some days of battle. Be brave, as the shadows close upon you. For we shall endure until light returns once more. In a bit, Ray. OK. Affirmative. Delph, my son. 
Hey, well done. So you're saying we're not going to do anything unless he's done it from Amanda to the care of the little bit of You okay? Court rise. Please stand. Raphael McCullen, I can't tell you how desperately sad I find it to see you stand here today accused of murdering a man, and brutally. Having looked over everything to hand up to this point, I'm remanding you into local authority foster care until this comes to trial. Do you understand me? Um, yeah. Yes, Your Honour. Nathaniel McCullen, you will be held on remand until the trial. But we'll stay in the same place. It won't be Pete. But we have to. Can you ask him, please? Call Rise. The little ones pushed Percival forward, then left him by himself. He stood knee-deep in the central grass, looking his, at his hidden feet, trying to pretend... Sorry, I'm late. For like a zillionth time. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ray, can you wait behind after, please? Uh, Dow Binder, can you share with Ray, please? And Gemma, pick up. Does something smell like shit round here? <laughs> okay, that's enough. Thank you. Gemma. Ralph remembered another small boy who had stood like this, and he flinched away from the memory. He had pushed through. You push the thought down and out of sight. So, uh, services have updated us on the Crown, upping your stepdad's charge to attempted murder. How are you feeling about it all? Is your mum coping all right? Yeah? What about your older brother? Is he OK? Ray? 
Well, I'm going to have to put you on attendance report, Ray. Nathan's fine. We're all fine. Thank you. OK. Well, a special school grant. It might help a little bit. Please? Just get yourself some clothes for Mufti Day or something. Yeah? Some sick psycho robot kids <coughs> and break dance the judges to bits. <laughs> I don't want this psych test messing with the boy's head. He's in a vulnerable enough state already. I know. Hi. Uh, I'd like us to have a chat alone first, if that's okay with you, Raphael. Do you know why you're here, Raphael? See if I'm okay for the draw. Yeah, good. Fit to plead. I get lost in that. The universe. It's like the mind. Our own unknowable. Scoot the pillars of creation. Well. That's wonderful. Thank you. Are you keen on space, then? Mm. I like them. Strongly. Yeah. Of course. So, did you miss school? Yeah. You ever get in any fights? Uh, not really. Um, one. Hmm. What happened? Did you win? Got broken up. Got suspended. I'd like to talk about it. I crossed a ladybird. I killed it. Because you got suspended? No. Um, I, I don't know. Okay. So how does that make you feel? On a scale of one to ten. One being great, ten being you know, terrible. Um, nine. All right. So why does that make you feel so terrible, do you think? It didn't deserve it. It didn't do anything wrong. 
killed him. Did anything make you feel ten? My brother, Nathan, Christy, and Serena. Mm. My mum. And Scott. What happened? Does that make you feel ten to? Nine, then. Eight. OK. All right. I can give you some strategies for now, for when you feel like that. Breathing exercise. OK. Raphael has expressed symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. He's only just beginning to remember the murder. Fragments. But he isn't ready to address it. Address? In what way? Raphael refuses to accept any liability for the murder. Rather, that it was the deceased's fault. Um, what do you make of him? Well, I need to make my report. Informally, he's... No obvious psychopathic traits. He displays clear empathy and sensitivity. And how might he come across? The child in court. Well, he's intelligent, articulate, but reserved, self-contained. Add the pressure of the setting. So, callous, devious. Not damaged enough outwardly. You know, if, if, if Raphael was, was tried through the youth courts, the decision would lie solely with the judge who'd uh, make a decision based on all aspects of this child's life. But this is murder, and he has to face a jury. So what is it? We try a child as young as 10. Who isn't by law allowed to, to buy a pet bloody hamster till he's 16 as an adult? Well, we have no in-between here, so... Look, he's just lucky to have you both fighting his corner. Not all the kids I see here are, I tell you. Is there anything else we can use? PTSD. You mentioned Ray had... Repercussions of the act. Um, also, possibly from other accumulated experiences of violence. Any other mitigating factors? Surprised to see me. Court didn't believe your brother been acquitted. Right. This is my home. And there is no way you and your brother are getting rid of me again. for the little ones. Oh, look at you two. I have missed you two, little monster. Fuck. Go away. Go away. I'm going nowhere, mate. Go away. You go. You go away. Go away. Go nowhere. Go nowhere. The man was asleep on the sofa. They went down those stairs to kill him. 
is premeditation. End of. Because of what their mother told Nathan, that Scott was going to... Finish the job. Right. For which we only have Nathan and Veronica's words. And I am not putting his mother in the witness box. And as for him... Christ. Poor fellow was in a heck of a state, all right. Well, his crowd will surely show that. It's the race. And ours, too. Maybe. Ray sees big beloved brother in the doorway, in that state, saying he's in imminent danger for his life, added to the experience of the earlier trauma, building Where there is a fear of serious violence, it needs to be in respect of violence against the defendant or another identified person. A.K.A. Nathan. It's a shot in the dark that the prosecution will tear right into, but loss of control needn't be in the moment. If we can show it built up over time, we're in with a chance. Here comes trouble. There's no clue what's about to hit him. Now, Ray, because of your age, the Crown has certain concessions it can make. Would you prefer to sit with your legal team, with us, or on your own? You, please, but what about Nathan? His team will look after him. We need... You need... Ray, look at me when I'm talking to you, please. Thank you. You need to focus on you now, and no one else. It's very important, Ray. In a few days, you're going to be sat in court with everyone looking at you like you're Dracula's son. You need to be ready. Yeah, OK. The Crown will push hard for murder. What's the difference? Between manslaughter and murder. Ten years plus in prison, maybe. If you were a 30-year-old man with a mind of someone your age, you would be judged not fit for trial, but you are not, Ray. I will fight to get you as much of a life as possible, but I need you to be strong for me, OK? So. We're going with loss of control. And what will really help this defence, we hope, is Nathan giving evidence, saying he came into your room that night. Is that right? Yeah. He says he was in immediate fear for his life, so you felt you had no other choice but to go down those stairs with him. Is that what happened? Yeah. It was. OK, Ray. Good. And so then... You lost control, did you? Right. Stealth, my son. Now stay sharp. They're coming in from all sides. Oh.
closed. Uh, before this trial can formally begin, a request has been made that Section 39 press reporting restrictions be lifted. Your Honour. And I must agree. The sheer ferocity of the attack leaves it in the public's best interest. I do, sir. But naming the boy leaves his whole future marked, let alone his case. It is final, Miss Stevens. Call the jury, please. Close upon you. We shall endure until light returns once more. Will the accused please stand? Raphael Jack Cullen, you stand accused of the murder of Scott Adam Jameson and are pleading not guilty. You now sit down. Nathaniel Martin McCullen, you also stand accused of the murder of Scott Adam Jameson pleading not guilty. You may now sit down. This was an horrific, merciless attack on a defenseless, sleeping man. Yet both defendants are putting forward a partial defense. Loss of control reducing murder to manslaughter, arguing on that night the brothers acted out of an immediate fear for their lives. The Crown will expose a cold-blooded murder, born out of anger, pure, premeditated revenge. And so we must also ask what was discussed in Raphael's room what went on behind that door before they then went down those stairs and savagely killed their unwitting stepfather. Murder or manslaughter? Revenge or loss of control? I've got two home visits to get in still. Sorry, Amber. Annie. Hey, come on in. I'm grab a seat. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> Harder to get out of the house and woodworm, this one. What are you fighting for, eh? So the school have called the multi-agency meeting because we're concerned about the effects on Ray and his siblings of your return to the home, Mr Jameson. Children's services, as you know, no longer believe the children are children in need. Well, we feel that things have improved significantly in the home since Mr Jameson's return, particularly for the younger children who seem much more settled again as a consequence. Well, Ray isn't more settled. 
as the incident at lunchtime clearly tests. The altercation in the home was with the older brother. Yeah, but the, the trauma of the incident for Ray alone... Trauma? To ...settle him. Ray? What trauma? I don't know. He had a scrap, is all just a scrap. Nathaniel's still living in the home, is that right, Veronica? Everything's all right now. Yeah. Queen herself said so, else I, I, I would not be sitting here. Everything's OK now. Well, I'd like to ask Ray. Ray. Is everything all right at home now? A series of 57 stab wounds to the back, varying depths. 12 longer, deeper wounds to the upper right chest. A number punctured the right lung. A prolonged attempt to decapitate the head, all arteries severed, only a small section of skin left, connecting it to the body. Many slash wounds to palms of hands, all defensive injuries. Ray. Uh, hey. Is there anything you'd care to say? Come on, Ray, inside. Would you kindly piss off? Everyone will know now. Where's my big brother gone? I don't know. established Nathaniel in some sorry state of depression at the time at least which as we are also aware is no defense in itself but what of Raphael in your report doctor you record him of sound mind a bright boy for his age as fit to plead as his adult brother well yes but also no 
I don't follow. Which one is it? A uh, child's mind isn't fully formed like an adult's. Different aspects develop at different rates as it continues to grow. Yet you assessed Raphael as fit for trial. He understands his charge. Yes, he understands it. And record him as having no obvious psychiatric or psychotic problems. That is correct, yes. But in fact, as a rather articulate, clever child and fit to plead. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. Nothing further. Dr. Keaton, could you please explain to us how a child experiences the world? Well, the child's reading of the world comes from the sensory, emotional part of the brain that reacts to impulse, instinct, aggression. Whereas the more rational, decision-making part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex that responds to situations with good judgment isn't fully grown, literally, until we're adults. It also struggles with futures, understanding the long-term consequences of actions. So there's a fundamental imbalance in their capacity for understanding. Could you tell us then what might have been going on inside a child's mind the night of such a murder in response to an imminent threat of violence experienced before happening once again? A child's brain aged 12, 13, 14, say, would have been emotionally overwhelmed and compelled to react. Thank you, Doctor. Nothing further. So after Mr. Jameson's acquittal and return to the family home, the collective decision was made that Raphael, along with Serena and Christy, no longer be deemed children in need. Correct? Yes, yes, that is correct. And why was that, Mrs. Delaney? Look, the, the children had their father back and they seemed much happier. The family appeared much more stable, a unit. Much more stable. Thank you. Children in need are defined in law as children aged under 18 who need local authority services to prevent significant or further harm to health or development. Do you recognize this definition to be what constitutes a child in need by your services? Uh, oh yes, that's it, yes. To prevent significant or further harm to health or development. Yet, after a terrifying incident Ray had witnessed against his elder brother, its charge upped by this very court to attempted murder, Mr. Jameson's return to the household, along with the weapon used in that incident, resulted in Raphael no longer being seen as a child in need. Is this correct, Mrs. Delaney? Yes. Nothing further. 
yet his record details a vicious, unprovoked attack on a peer. After Mr. Jameson's return, yes. Unprovoked, the records read. So much so that Raphael was suspended. Is this correct also, Mrs. Lyndon? Yes. This unprovoked assault only serving as a kind of gym, if you will, like the violent games he played on his computer. Your Honour. Please continue, Mr. Ramsden. Nothing further. How was Raphael as a student? He was a pleasure to know. And was the school aware of Raphael's role in the household as carer to both children and mother? Yes, um, we were to an extent. And is it not so that Raphael used a special school grant intended to clothe him, to clothe his half-siblings, the deceased's own biological children? Yes, this is true, yes. And this unprovoked attack at the school, was it something out of character for Ray, would you say? Yes. Yeah, Ray was a... Um, he was a gentle and sensitive... I mean... I mean, he is, he still is... Sorry. Nothing further. Jerry, don't lose your coat. Nathan isn't giving evidence. What the hell was that? He needs me. No, no. You need you. More than ever. Okay. So, Nathan's defense aren't showing the jury Nathan's police photos either. That's that trump card. Why? I don't know. In case it makes him look too disturbed to them. Ray, listen now. I want you to have a life one day of your own. And that life very much hangs on what happens next. We feel your best chance now is to give evidence. I can only advise, mind, it's up to you. Ramsden will come right at you, and he will give you nothing. You look him in the eye, you stay calm, and you think carefully before you answer. Do you remember what you told me about just before it happened? That... balance control. Focus on you, not on Nathan. You are not speaking for him as well. You got that? Okay.
Commissioner, I'm Van Eisen. Will you get ready, boy? Bad, bad rabbit. Raphael, you are being tried for murder. Do you understand? Yes, I do. And did you have an equal part to your brother in what happened? I had a part in what happened. Yeah. You accept that you killed a man? Yes. Yes, I do. Were you scared of this man? Yes. After Scott Jameson was acquitted, did you want revenge? No. But something needed to be done. For the record, please, aloud. Hmm. I, I don't know. Was violence ever talked about? No, never. Nathaniel was spending his life in his room. When he came to your room that night, how did he look? He said that... He said that Scott threatened Mum. Nothing unusual by all accounts. And we can only have your word for that as she isn't giving evidence either. So, did you not think killing Mr. Jameson a bit extreme? Um... I don't know. In your room, you and Nathan, did you discuss how to do it? Um, we just went downstairs and, and got the knives. Who decided? It wasn't planned. Your brother, in a state, by all accounts, who was clearest of mind? Your Honor, leading. So you went downstairs to find the deceased, curled up, fast asleep? Actually, no threat at all.
No, no. Not then. No threat at that moment. But you still stuck the knife in. Who led the charge? Look at me, Raphael, not your brother. We just... Just went and attacked him. Did he just wake up? He had a lot of defensive injuries on his arms. I can't remember. It just... It just happened. A man is stabbed over 70 times. His head near decapitated. And you can't remember that this butchery somehow just happened? Did Scott Jameson die in silence? I can't remember. But you intended to kill him. Raphael McCullen, on that night, the decision was made for Scott Jameson to die. I lost control. When did you lose control? I lost control before and, and during the attack. Nothing further.
be murdered. We have only heard from one of the brothers, Raphael. Do not have your sympathies swayed by his age. Ladies and gentlemen, this boy is a cold-blooded murderer. Scott Jameson was butchered as he slept. Raphael McCullen has admitted in that very witness box his part in this savage, diabolical act. This boy here had the capacity. That is clear and is as responsible as Nathaniel. Together they planned, then mercilessly murdered a loving, caring father to young children. These are the only facts for you to consider here. My learned friend wields the word responsibility. But who took that for Raphael in this room today? His parents? An adult brother who couldn't give evidence. The police? This very court? The services that circled yet ultimately failed to protect him and his family. All are culpable here. Yet we are not here to problem solve. This arena, this crown system is designed for a win or lose, guilt or innocence, beyond reasonable doubt, binary, like fight or flight. No room for nuance. No room for an emerging life lived in chaos. And what is loss of control if it isn't that? A boy backed into a corner, lashes back with that same terrible, furious rage. He so feared himself. in here with you, Ray. You okay, Gary? Well, that's an odd question for you to be asking me right now, Raphael McCullough. 
Will the accused please stand? Members of the jury, in the matter of Nathaniel McCullen, have you reached a verdict upon which at least nine of you agree? We have. On the charge of murder, how do you find the defendant? Guilty. In the matter of Raphael McCullen, have you reached a verdict upon which at least nine of you agree? We have. On the charge of murder, how do you find the defendant? Not guilty. On the charge of manslaughter by loss of control, how do you find the defendant? Guilty. All rise. Nathan. Nathan. Please. Mom. Mom, okay. How, how's, how's Christine and Serena? No, no one will tell me. Not with me anymore. They took my babies away, Ray. I did it to protect you and Nathan. I did it to keep you and Nathan safe, OK? OK? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not much good if we're not all together, right? Good, now stand up tall, 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 tall. Cool work, my friend.
it's amazing to think we're there, in the middle of all of that. It's not our solar system. Oh. Um, there's a theory. But there's all these other universes out there, not just this one. And, and in every one, there's us. And all the other things we could have done. It's good. It's a good thing, right? Funny little girl, isn't you? When you're back to school. Tomorrow. Got a good brain in that head, so don't waste it. No more fighting, yeah? No more fucking fighting. Sit here if you like. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't want to be the person that did what I did. He's in another universe, mate. Yeah? You are here, is that? Come on, 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 come on,